Organizations fail to meet goals when their chain of accountability breaks down. Goals are either not set or not communicated effectively. Progress is not measured or consequences for success and failure are not consistently enforced at all levels. The challenge is to find a way to streamline accountability so that everyone understands their own roles and responsibilities as well as those of their teammates and how they will all stay on track. The Aligning Goals and Accountability tool was designed to help with these challenges by encouraging its users to think about all of the stakeholders who will be needed to ensure success. Doing so ensures that each stakeholder knows his or her role in achieving the project goals and what happens when responsibilities are or are not met. This short video will walk you through the steps involved in completing the Aligning Goals tool so that you are able to use it throughout the life cycle of your project from inception and planning to implementation and evaluation. You can use the Aligning Goals and Accountability tool when setting goals and rolling out a new project or initiative or when investigating where a particular goal is not being met. There are four major steps to completing the Aligning Goals and Accountability tool. In step one, you will define the scope of your project. Choose a priority on which to focus. You can start with either a small-scale effort or a system-wide transformation. Your priorities may be as broad as completing an organization-wide assessment of safety culture or as narrow as improving hand hygiene compliance within a single unit. Begin by writing down your problem statement. What is it that you are trying to improve? Having a well-articulated understanding of the challenges you face will help you to define the context and scope of your project. Next, clarify your goal. Decide what you are going to accomplish and give yourself a deadline. Be as specific as possible and as challenging as is reasonable. To know whether you've met your goal, try to make sure you can tangibly measure your progress. Then, summarize your action plan to build your project roadmap. Ask yourselves, what steps will you take to make sure you meet your goals? After defining your project, your next step will be to identify your stakeholders. Stakeholders are individuals and groups from the board to bedside that will play a role in the success or failure of your initiative. Use the role types listed along the left-hand column of the tool as a guide. Either some or all these people may be stakeholders in your project, so modify as necessary. Don't forget to include any groups or individuals who might not be listed, but who will be critical to your project. Begin by writing down your problem statement. What is it that you are trying to improve? Having a well-articulated understanding of the challenges you face will help you to define the context and scope of your project. Next, clarify your goal. Decide what you are going to accomplish and give yourself a deadline. Be as specific as possible and as challenging as is reasonable. To know whether you've met your goal, try to make sure you can tangibly measure your progress. Then, summarize your action plan to build your project roadmap. Ask yourselves, what steps will you take to make sure you meet your goals? After defining your project, your next step will be to identify your stakeholders. Stakeholders are individuals and groups from the board to bedside that will play a role in the success or failure of your initiative. Use the role types listed along the left-hand column of the tool as a guide. Either some or all these people may be stakeholders in your project, so modify as necessary. Don't forget to include any groups or individuals who might not be listed, but who will be critical to your project. After gathering your stakeholders, you'll need to collectively define how you will be accountable in your project. You can do this by answering the questions across the top of the tool. Collaborate with all stakeholders from across all organizational levels. Seek to understand and clearly articulate what each stakeholder needs to know, what they need to do, and with whom they need to communicate in order to meet the goal or ensure the project is a success. It is critical that everyone understand how they will be held accountable for their individual progress by deciding what will be measured and how their progress will be monitored. Similarly, you can use the tool to describe how project process will be communicated to everyone involved. Engage all stakeholders in defining their own role as well as helping to review and refine others' roles. Doing so will help build clear, shared expectations. In step four, you will set your accountability plan in motion, revising and refining it as needed to keep the project on track. 
Each stakeholder should develop and implement plans for ensuring that they meet their component of the shared expectations. Review these plans throughout the project. Use measurement processes to detect breakdowns in real expectations and follow up with corrective, but not necessarily punitive, actions. Now that you've been introduced to the Aligning Goals tool and know how to use it, it's time for you to get started on defining accountability for either a new or ongoing project. You will find the Aligning Goals tool and guidebook on the Visient website under the Leading Edge Consortium Program tab. Navigate to www.vha.com forward slash PFP and log in with your credentials. If you aren't sure where to begin, you can complete the Population Health Organization Assessment, which will pinpoint your organization's unique strengths and weaknesses. With that profile in hand, you will be able to choose an area or problem on which to focus your improvement efforts. With purposeful planning, you will be able to harness the expertise of all your stakeholders from board to bedside. For any questions regarding the tool, feel free to email leadingedge at jhmi.edu.